Welcome back to the Green Iron Expert. We're continuing our Pac-12 football predictions today, and our next team had high expectations last season before some very unfortunate injuries. But this season, if they can stay healthy, they look to really bounce back and become a threat in the Pac-12 South. They are the UCLA Bruins. This season, UCLA returns 15 starters and will be led by their quarterback, Josh Rosen, who went down with an injury last season after having such high expectations. After his injury, UCLA plummeted to 4-8, and eight, when they were expected to finish at least towards the top of the Pac-12 South, uh, if not winning at all. But uh, this season, they're hoping to really bounce back if everybody can stay healthy. I feel like Josh Rosen is probably the second-best quarterback in this division, only behind Sam Darnold. Uh, so I'm very curious to see how the Bruins do this season. Um, the schedule is pretty favorable for the most part, so I really think they will bounce back from that pitiful 4-8 and record this season. Definitely make it back to a bowl game, if not finish very high in the Pac-12 South division. So... We're just going to start. Last season, you, everybody remembers that game against Texas A&M uh, down in College Station. Uh, it was a 31-24 loss for UCLA in overtime. Uh, it was a great game. I actually predicted UCLA to win that game. I really didn't think um, A&M was going to be able to pull that one off, but it was a very exciting game. And I really think that was a devastating blow for UCLA, going all the way down there and losing. Uh, not a very good start to the season. They kind of got they got beat up. A&M was, I think, a little bit more... Um, than that, what they were expecting. But this season, A&M has to travel all the way uh, to UCLA. It's a long way to travel. Uh, I feel like if Rosen stays healthy, which I think he will, at least for the season opener, uh, he's going to give some uh, the A&M defense some fits. And I think UCLA uh, will open up and get some revenge on Texas A&M this season. Get an early, early win there. A&M's not going to be a bad team this season, middle of the pack, SEC, but I don't think they're going to be enough to go on the road and beat UCLA. I think UCLA's hungry, and with those 15 returning starters, um, it's going it's to be hard to beat them. Uh, then Hawaii, a team that I think also surprised a lot of people last season, getting back to a bowl game. That was pretty exciting for them. Uh, they have a very good offense as well. Not going to be much of a threat for UCLA. Another uh, long travel for their opponent. Uh, Hawaii have to come all the way out for that, but UCLA will get the win. And then Memphis, um, Kind of an interesting game here that UCLA is traveling to Memphis. That's all. That's a very long ways to go. Uh, Memphis is not a team they need to overlook. We know what Memphis is capable of. We saw what they did against uh, Ole Miss back in 2015. So Memphis is not um, not afraid, and, and they're very used to playing these uh, these big Power Five schools. Memphis is led by Riley Ferguson. Uh, remember their quarterback a couple of years ago was Paxton Lynch. So they have their they're prone to getting very good quarterbacks. Riley Ferguson is probably one of the best uh, in their conference. So Memphis is not a team UCLA needs to overlook and think it's going to be an easy three and zero start. But I'm gonna right now I'm gonna give them the benefit of the doubt and give them the win over Memphis. But uh, if Riley Ferguson is on that night down in Memphis, uh, they need to be careful because uh, I would not be shocked if Memphis pulled this upset. Let's just say that. And then Stanford on the road. Stanford returned 16 starters, including their quarterback, Keller Christ, who I uh, got more impressed with as the season went on. Stanford's been a threat for years now. They really haven't had a, too many down years uh, since David Shaw took over. Um, so Stanford's going to be a threat, um, as always, in this pack, in the Pac-12 North. Um, right now, I'm actually going to give UCLA a loss here. I don't like this game on the road one bit. Uh, 16 returning starters, 15 returning starters. The returning starters don't make or break who wins the game, but right now I feel more comfortable with Stanford uh, I feel they they showed me more last season. I know UCLA was hit with injuries, uh, but we're still pretty early on in the season right now, and I'm going to give Stanford the win when they're UCLA. It's only one conference loss, but I, I, Stanford is going to be a tough team this season, and right now I'm going to give them that loss. And then Colorado, a team that UCLA actually lost to last season, wasn't a surprise, though, because Colorado was probably the, the biggest surprise team of the country, I would say. Uh, people expected them to be good. They had a lot of returning stars, but not uh, win the Pac-12 South good. I mean, that was shocking. Um, this season, UCLA gets Colorado at home. I think UCLA gets his win here. But Colorado, like I've said in my USC video, is not a team that people just need to overlook because they lost so many people from last uh, from last year. Uh, Mike McIntyre is a very good coach. I know they've had some off-the-field issues, but Colorado uh, is, still, is still a force to be reckoned with in this Pac-12 South. Um, but I'm going to give UCLA the win. I like that it's at home, and I do. I think Colorado does have some questions they need to figure out, uh, especially by this point uh, going into October. But UCLA gets a win there. A bye week after five games, they're four and one. Already matched last season's win total. 
Uh, so looking like they're already going to be an improvement. Uh, at Arizona, going on the road there, um, an Arizona team that uh, struggled a lot last season, probably will improve a little bit this season, um, but not by much. You know, they, they, It's going to take a while for them to get back to uh, that Fiesta Bowl form that they were in a couple years ago. Um, Rodriguez is on the hot seat, as I've said before, so that everybody kind of needs to watch out here. Um, I'm going to give UCLA the win here on the road. Um, Arizona is a tough place to play, another game they don't need to overlook. Um, everybody knows what happens in the Pac-12 late at night. We all, crazy things happen uh, if, if you stay up for those games. Uh, but I'm going to give UCLA the win here. I just don't, I really don't see uh, Arizona getting the win over, over the Bruins here. And then um, Oregon, Willie Taggart. Great coach coming in from uh, South Florida. They're going to improve a lot. I think Oregon returns, I think 17 returning starters this season. They get their quarterback back. They got a lot of guys uh, that are going to be good this season. Oregon's going to make one of the biggest jumps. I think they were one of the biggest disappointments uh, from last season. They really fell. I think they went 4-8 and eight as well. So Oregon's a team that could probably bring a few upsets here and there, a team that no team in the Pac-12 needs to overlook. I think Willie Taggart will get them back to that form they were under uh, with Chip Kelly and uh, Mark Helfrich when they had Mariota, at least. So, um, But right now, I'm actually going to give UCLA the win here over Oregon. I like that it's at home. If this was at Oregon, I would be picking the Ducks. But right now, I'm going to give it to UCLA. I just don't see um, Oregon going on the road. Yet, yeah, Willie Taggart's going to be one of the better coaches in the Pac-12. He's probably going to win some awards for turning around that Oregon program, who was pitiful last year. Um, and he's definitely going to get the Ducks back to a bowl game, but I don't see him going on the road beating UCLA yet. And then, unfortunately for UCLA, they draw Washington out of the north. We all remember what happened to Washington last season. They went all the way to the college football playoff where their season ended against Alabama. But uh, Jake Browning is one of the better quarterbacks in the Pac-12 as well. I really like this Washington team. Uh, they return a decent amount of stars as well. Chris Peterson's a heck of a coach. And it's on the road for UCLA, which doesn't bode well. I'm going to give them the loss here at Washington. Washington is still another college football playoff contender. Hopefully the recruiting will continue for Chris Peterson so he can maintain that. And this just isn't a one-year or two-year deal uh, for success at Washington. But he's done a great job there. And Washington is going to be very dangerous in that Pac-12 North. Uh, and so right now I'm going to give UCLA a loss there at Washington. They're a very tough team. At Utah, a team that's getting a bunch of hype. A lot of people could see Utah being a dark horse in this Pac-12. Don't really see it. I think UCLA is going to go on the road and get the win here. Uh, Utah is going to give some teams some challenges, and UCLA needs to watch out that it's on the road. Uh, but assuming Josh Rosen has stayed healthy to this point, I really don't see some of these road games being too big of a problem for UCLA. And I'm going to give them the win over Utah. Arizona State, a team that also struggled a little bit, or has struggled a little bit in the past, Um they get them at home this year. Shouldn't be much of a problem. I think Arizona State will uh, struggle again this season, unfortunately, for the Sun Devils. Um, and I'm going to give UCLA the win. And then the big rivalry game uh, against USC. Uh, Sam Darnold, Josh Rosen, could you ask for a better quarterback matchup? I mean, it's going to be very fun to watch. Could see tons of offense in this game, or you know, you could see a, a very big defensive battle. It's, it's, it could go either way. I love the quarterback matchup, though. I'm very excited to watch that. Darnold and Rosen, potential um, not only Heisman candidates, uh, but first-round draft picks as well if they both decide to go pro. But Darnold has said that he does plan to stay until his senior year. But money talks, so we'll just have to wait and see. But right now, for UCLA, I really do feel like USC is the better team right now. They just have the better overall talent. Uh, I think they've got um, you know, a lot going for them this season, and USC will have a lot to play for. Uh, UCLA would already have two losses at this point, but if they were to upset USC, they're still in not only the Pac-12 uh, hunt, but also the playoff hunt. Uh, that would be the first two-loss team to make it, but I don't see them beating USC. I really don't right now. And then California, as I've said before, a team that I really think is going to have a miserable year this year. Very, uh, It's going to be a big rebuilding season uh, for California. They're getting a first-year head coach. Uh, they lost a lot of starters on offense, um, so it's going to be very tough for California this season. I don't see them winning many, uh, if any, Pac-12 games, and so UCLA will get the win here, and it's at home, so that just adds to it. And that's going to give UCLA a 9-3 and record to finish the season. That's not bad, considering this team went 4-8 and last season. Not bad at all. That's a huge jump. The five-game increase uh, for UCLA, great improvement there. Uh, this is all assuming that they can stay healthy. Josh, Rose, uh, Josh Rosen is going to be the 
uh, the key to this entire season. If he and as is the quarterback for any team, the quarterback is uh, kind of holds the team together. But um, UCLA is going to need him to stay healthy if they want to get to this nine and three mark. Uh, out of the losses that I predicted them to uh, to lose, I really don't see any that I, I disagree with. I mean. I think they will use, lose to USC and Washington, probably the two best teams in the Pac-12 right now. And we all know what Stanford is capable of in this Pac-12. So I really don't disagree or see any of these losses that UCLA could win. I don't really feel that they could be any toss-up games. So uh, we'll just have to wait and see. But I do see UCLA making a huge improvement, making a decent bowl game. Uh, and if Josh Rosen sticks around for one more year, he's only a junior, so if he sticks around for one more year, they could be uh, huge Pac-12 contenders next year as well. So we'll just have to play it by year and see. But this will be a fun team to watch, especially if they can stay healthy. So please continue to like, comment, subscribe. Love to hear what you guys have to say. Uh, and we'll see you next time on the Gridiron Expert.